Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. I would like to thank each and every one of you for liking, commenting, subscribing, and donating to my channel. I really do appreciate all the love and all the support. And thank you for those of you who've been booking readings with me. It is truly appreciated, okay? So as you guys can tell by the title of this video, this video is going to be about who can't stop thinking about you. So pile number one, you're going to be the throat chakra crystal. Pile number two, you're going to be the solar plexus chakra crystal and pile number three you're going to be the third eye chakra crystal so again pile number one throat chakra crystal Pile number two, solar plexus, chakra crystal. And pile number three, third eye, chakra crystal. So pause this video if you must and meditate on the card or the crystal that you feel most drawn to you'll be able to find your timestamps in the description box below and i'll see you guys at your pile hi one welcome to my channel this is stella beauty tarot back at you again with another video so my pile number one you picked the throat chakra crystal and this is going to be your reading okay so if you are a returning subscriber welcome back i'm so happy to have you back and if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy of previous file or previous readings, okay? So my pal number one, who can't stop thinking about you? Who can't stop thinking about you, my pal number one? So what do we have here? We have the Hierophant, but in reverse. So this person is going to be a Taurus. So this person could be a Taurus. Oh my gosh, I can't even speak. So this person does not want me to talk. Um, I'm going to like this person could be unorthodox or they may not follow the law. They could be dishonest as well. With the Hierophant in reverse. They lack, maybe they lack morality or something like that. So who can't stop thinking about you? I feel like you may not even, yeah, this is somebody who withhold the truth or maybe with the Ten of Pentacles, they may do grimy things for money, okay? They may do, yeah, grimy things for money. This is what I'm getting here with the Ten of Pentacles and this Ace of Swords, like they're not truthful, they're not honest. Um, they like, like I said, they withhold information they could be very sneaky or deceptive individual. Maybe that's the reason why you don't talk to this person because I feel like you're not in contact with them. Yeah, we have the chariot. Um, they may drive an expensive car. We have cancer energy and we have Taurus energy. They may drive an expensive car. Oof, I'm getting like street pharmacist. Okay, I don't want to say the name, but like think about a pharmacist, but sells street prescriptions okay like i don't want to go into too many details okay but that's what i'm getting here okay the street pharmacist if you know you know um we have the king of pentacles yeah this is somebody who could have a lot of money they could be financially stable but like i said the way that they do their money could be unorthodox or yeah like you know they're not doing it the right way they're not following the right path it's not a path of righteousness this is what i'm getting here um who can't stop thinking about you i feel like you yeah page of pentacles you may have cut off this person because maybe you realize that what they were doing for a living like you don't want to be part of it you don't want to be you don't want to deal with somebody who 
operates in that like I feel like this person operates in lower lower vibration yeah that's why they can't they don't want me to speak because we have the throat chakra as a crystal and I can't even talk I can't even speak so that tells me that this person may have like throat chakra blockages maybe like I said they lie with the ace of swords in reverse they withhold the truth they're dishonest um, they like to one up people this could be somebody that you were trying to date or this person was trying to date you yeah death card and the five of wands it could have been like a lot of obstacles or challenges or this person does not believe in God they don't believe in or they don't respect the law especially with the hair font in reverse they don't respect the law they don't respect structure and discipline they don't respect that they take shortcuts or they take the easy way out of situations they don't like hard work they like fast money this is what I'm getting here somebody who likes fast money regardless of how fast like whatever it is that they do to make the money they like it like that so they don't like hard work they don't they don't respect hard work they don't respect tradition with the hair font so they have no tradition or they just don't value their traditional their family values and stuff like that or uh, cultural values or religious values so this is somebody who may lack morality okay who can't stop thinking about you we have the eight of pentacles but this person could be very talented like i feel like this person has a lot of like many talents that they could utilize to um basically upgrade their life right and do the right thing but instead of using their talents to do the, the right thing they use their talents to do the bad thing and then get what they want from other people cheat others and oh my gosh i feel like this person's obsessed with you though who can't stop thinking about you yeah we have the ten of cups you make this person happy maybe you guys grew up together and they took they chose a different path in life you guys could be from the same background but they chose a different path in life they chose the wrong path they went down the dark path and maybe you call them out on it or something like that with the hair font in reverse and now this person cannot stop thinking about the last time that you guys spoke you must have said something to this person that triggers them trigger them to want to change to become better who can't stop thinking about you yeah we have this guys i can't make it up six of cups somebody from your past i can't make it up this is somebody from your past that can't stop thinking about you because of the last conversation that you guys had you call them out on their immorality you call them out on something that they were doing that wasn't wrong and then maybe because i feel like you know them from when you guys were young you said like this is not how we grew up this is not how we do things and you know that and then you probably told this person if they want to be in your life they have to take the path of righteousness like they have to be right they have to be fair and just or else you can't chill with them you can't hang with them yeah ace of pentacles is somebody who has a lot of money but like i said they don't make their money the right way they make fast money easy money okay wow we have the wheel of fortune in reverse this person's running out of luck they're experiencing some sort of karma or like things are starting to catch up to them like all their bad deeds that they've done in the past is starting to catch up to them who can't stop thinking about you yeah we have the page of pentacles again like this could be a friend or somebody that you friend zoned somebody who wants to be in a relationship with you yeah somebody who wants to be in a relationship with you wants to see you um they want to see you again yeah with the page of pentacles you uh, left this person out in the cold yeah we have the emperor in reverse this person could be an aries um taurus cuss okay but they are the emperor in reverse so this is a tyrant this is a bully this is a um, dictator okay this person has a tyrant like personality like they could be extremely vicious ruthless and that's definitely characteristic of a street pharmacist okay they have to be like if you're a street pharmacist you have to be kind of like ruthless or just you know like a, a dictator or a bully because like you can't be nice okay like that type of like lifestyle if you're nice you're gonna get eaten because it's like a dog eat dog type of world and i feel like this person is in that energy right now but i feel like they want to change they want to like i feel like they want to change for you because this person likes you like they still have goodness within them 
but their shadow side is overpowering it and because of what you said the last time you guys spoke it could have been recently that you rekindled with this person or reunited with this person and then when you reunited with this person you realize that this person was going down the wrong path and you were like no if you want to be in my life you're gonna have to make changes and if you can't then i'm sorry you can't be in my life and this person i feel like that that conversation kind of triggered them but they're still in that energy okay of the emperor in reverse so who can't stop thinking about you we have the wheel of fortune again but this time it's upright yeah i feel like this person is hoping that their luck will come back or they're hoping that they could have a chance with you yeah it's really the last conversation i'm getting like heavy on the last conversation that you guys had that really triggered this person that push them to want to be a better person now but they don't know if it's going to work yeah page of wands this person could be younger than you or just young at heart yeah they're very when they think about you they have very fond memories of you i feel like you guys have not spoken to this person prior to the last conversation maybe you guys lost contact with it with each other like for years and then you guys just rekindled recently because maybe like within the year of 2023 you rekindled with this person and that's when you realize that they have changed completely like to, they walk down a different path that you're not used to or you've never seen them down that path before so it's like kind of like concerning you but then you told them like yo if this is how you're going to be unfortunately you can't be part of my life okay and this person is kind of hurt about that but they know yeah we have the knight of pentacles in reverse we have a lot of reversal so that means this person's energy is kind of blocked and it makes sense because i can't even speak properly we have the hangman there's a lot of things that this person has not told you about them but i feel like intuitively you kind of pick it up that they're not doing that as well as they claim to be even though they're claiming that the lifestyle they're living is um allowing them to make a lot of money really fast but there's another side of them that feels stuck that feels trapped that feel like things are not moving for them and then they kind of feel like the karma is starting to catch up to them with the wheel of fortune and then this is the reason why what you said to them kind of triggered them because they know deep down inside that you're telling the truth so who can't stop thinking about you who can't stop thinking about you we have the ace of wands we have almost all the aces this is somebody who's very attracted to you as well they always found you very attractive we have the six of wands and the queen of wands yeah this person is very attractive they could be extremely successful in you know being a street pharmacist but i feel like they don't have to be street pharmacists guys they could be anything else but something that is not really of morality whatever it is that they're doing is immoral okay with the with the hair font in reverse but i'm getting the energy i'm getting is street pharmacist type of energy okay it doesn't have to be that but it's like similar energy okay and we have the ace of cups at the bottom of the deck this person loves you they're in love with you and that's another reason why they can't stop thinking about you and i feel like this person does not want you to see them in that light it kind of bothers them for you for them to for them to know that you think of them that way but it's like that's what they're doing so it's not like something that you're judging them is something that they're actually doing so it's not like really a judgment they're actually doing something that is illegal or immoral or something like that okay or like something that is against your religion or against your culture or a fraud upon within your culture okay this is what i'm getting here and they can't stop thinking about you but with the six of wands they could be very successful within that group of people that do the same thing that they're doing they could be very successful with the six of wands there could also be an, a, a feminine influence a queen of wands influence that may like you know gas them up or cheer them on because maybe she's benefiting from that lifestyle as well so who can't stop thinking about you we have teeth you know it wanted to come out and it came out again i'm telling you and a thief obviously in any culture any religion a thief is not really highly respected okay it's not somebody that you could respect like you can't even trust a thief like they're gonna come in your house and steal your your ish right so this person they don't have to be like a technical thief but they could be something doing something that is like pickpocking and stuff like that like like something that you know you wouldn't be proud of like you it's not something that you could say to somebody oh this is what i do for a living and then people are going to respect you people are going to look at you sideways right it's not something to be proud of this is what i'm getting here this person may be doing something that they're not proud of yeah they choose a different pathway from you and I feel like right now with the pathway energy, they're like looking at where they're going and where they're about to head, like where they're heading. 
if they continue down that path they, they're taking right now and they know that it's not right yeah you see wealthy man this person has money but even though they have money they can't sleep at night they aren't sleeping well they're worried they're stressed out they have a lot of anxiety there's a lot of like you know worrying about karma okay yeah community i'm telling you this is somebody that you know this is somebody that you grew up with with the community card who can't stop thinking about you wow oh my gosh imprisonment this person is like in mental jail or maybe they're scared that they might go to jail because of what they're doing because you know thief like you know if you get caught stealing you're gonna go to jail right so this person is like imprisonment they're all up in their head at night it's really what you said to this person that's like really replaying in their mind who can't stop thinking about you we have privilege lady i knew it and you see we have the queen of wands there is someone that is benefiting from that lifestyle that this person is living and this person is kind of like influencing them to continue and then you are the other person you're the like you know how the, like you know the good in the angel and the devil on the shoulder i'm gonna like this person is like the devil on that person's shoulder and you're the angel telling them like yeah they could do better than that like you know them like you know that they could do better than that they don't have to do you don't have to walk down that path we have journey yeah this person is like on a journey of self-discovery or like they could be doing some sort of shadow work we have great fortune i'm telling you is bringing this person a lot of money but at what cost okay this person could have a child or they could have a child with this privileged lady and maybe this is like they feel like this is the only way they can make money okay we have the lovers at the bottom of the deck so yeah this person wants to like even though like let's say if they have another person that privileged lady like i said and they have a child they still think about you a lot because maybe they wish they, they had that child with you because they, they're probably i'm also getting like this person's thinking about like how life would have been if they have chosen you instead of this person that they're with okay this is what i'm getting here this person thinks about you all the time like even if you guys are apart i don't even feel like you ever dated this person but i feel like they always had like a thing for you okay so we're going to be using the astro dice to get a little bit more confirmation of who this person could be so it could be your sign or this person's sign okay so who can't stop thinking about you who can't stop thinking about you my Tom the one we have Sun cancer and we have 11th house okay so we do have the cherry here so this person could have cancer Sun or cancer 11th house or that could be you all right so that's all I have for you, my pal number one. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in my next video, pal number one. Bye. Hi, pal two. Welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. So my pal number two, you picked the throat chakra crystal. And this is going to be your reading okay so if you are a returning subscriber welcome back i'm so happy to have you back and if you are a newbie welcome thank you so much for tuning in so the way i like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started so we don't pick up the energy of previous pile or previous readings so my pal number two who can't stop thinking about you? Who can't stop thinking about you? Who can't stop thinking about you? We have the hangman. So this person could be a Pisces or you could be a Pisces here. This is somebody who feels stuck. They feel stuck in your energy. They feel stuck on you, unable to move on. Okay, this is somebody who, yeah, I feel like somebody who's unable to move on from you. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, they feel stuck, trapped. Who can't stop thinking about you? This is somebody that you guys ended a cycle with, with the world card. Yeah, 
a cycle ended. We have, wow, the tower. This person is experiencing some sort of tower moment because of the cycle that ended between the two of you. Who can't stop thinking about you? Wow, we have the Ace of Wands. Somebody who's very passionate about you. Somebody who's very drawn to you. They're very sexually attracted to you as well with the Ace of Wands. They can't stop thinking about you because of the fact that... Um, I feel like um, there was definitely a tower moment, a powerful realization this person's having. Yeah, three of swords, they feel rejected. This is somebody that you broke up with, somebody that you, if it's not an ex, it could be somebody that you were talking to, dating, and then you just ended things with this person. Maybe because you you felt like it wasn't work going anywhere, you weren't seeing eye to eye with them, or you didn't feel like the connection was genuine or something like that, or you felt like it was only sexual with the Ace of Wands, so you broke it off. I feel like this person, you know what I'm getting? They were withholding their real their true feelings for you. This person was like acting nonchalant, acting like they didn't really care like that, or like maybe when you guys broke it off like you told them like you know you don't want to continue doing this anymore they may have acted like okay well if that's what you want we'll go with that and then they were like okay i'm going to move on but they're not actually moving on they're having a powerful realization that they actually really care for you and really have feelings for you but they were acting like a coward i'm getting this person was not being honest truthful we have the devil this person could be obsessed with you we have capricorn energy Scorpio energy and we have Pisces energy so this person is obsessed with you with the devil okay they're, they're thinking about you excessively they can't sleep at night yeah there was like a painful ending between the two of you the ten of swords you could have felt betrayed by this person we have the nine of pentacles this person is definitely single they live a life of luxury they live a life of abundance so that means they are very well financially well off with the nine of pentacles maybe that's what they wanted maybe they wanted to be single and explore their other options and then you were like okay then if that's what you want to do i'm going to remove myself from the equation and i'm going to allow you to do you and this person maybe initially they were okay with that but now as time goes by they can't stop thinking about you they can't stop reminiscing about you and they realizing that if they want to be with you if they truly want to be with you they have to change their ways they can't be the same person that they were before and expect you to stick around maybe this person wanted to have their cake and eat it too and you let them know that no if that's not how it's going to work if you're going to be in my life you there has to be some sort of structure and balance in my life and also respect like you have self-respect and this person really likes that about you that you have self-respect yeah we have the king of wands this person could be very attractive okay very fiery people are drawn to them they like i said attractive they have an outgoing personality okay and people are just drawn to them this is what i'm getting here but maybe you on the other end you may be more laid back chill relax okay more low-key you could be an introvert here my pal number two and this person i feel like that's what draws them into you because you're kind of like different from them like you have qualities and characteristics that they feel like they don't possess and they like that about you that's why they were drawn to you they find you very attractive but i feel like this person was playing like you know playing it cool initially when you guys like broke it off okay yeah five of swords this person is really upset they are in the five of swords energy they are livid because i feel like you know because this person gets attention right with the king of wands they are very attractive they're outgoing they are sociable this is an extrovert this is an extroverted individual so they like to go out mingle with people talk while you might be an introvert where you'd rather stay at home chill relax you know do your own thing it's not like you you're boring or anything like that it's just like you rather do things on your own or you just more you're more likely to stay home than go out partying and stuff like that or hang out with a bunch of people like you rather like if you're going to hang out with people it's going to be with a selected few and it's only going to be like a handful of people that you're going to be chilling with it's not going to be like 20 or 100 of people like you that you don't even know or you don't even like so this person with the five of swords they're kind of like upset and angry with themselves for letting you go they feel kind of foolish for doing so because they didn't think that they were gonna fall for you like that so this person really thought that it was gonna be like okay well if this person doesn't want me i'm gonna move on but they're trying to move on they feel stuck for a source yeah like this is like a situation that you put to rest and we have the hangman again i'm telling you this person feels stuck on you like they can't move on some of you this person kind of wish they never met you because it's like oh my gosh like now i have to find somebody better 
and it's kind of hard to hard to tap you like to tap you to top you <laughs> to like not because like i'm not saying that you know people are like or not good or whatever i'm not trying to say that what i'm saying is that this person the qualities that they admire in you they're kind of having a hard time finding someone exactly like you because that's what they want they want somebody exactly like you so that way they could like kind of like fill the void that they have in their heart right now okay so who can't stop thinking about you my pal number two yeah eight of pentacles this could be somebody who is immersing themselves in work working overtime many hours keeping themselves busy so that way they don't think about you they could be very skilled and talented at what they do with the eight of pentacles as well we have the nine of pentacles so definitely this person has many skills and talent we have the page of wands yeah this person is very enthused when they think about you we have the three of pentacles some of you this person could work with you or collaborate with you or they want to collaborate with you or they want to come back who can't stop thinking about you my pal number two who can't stop thinking about you who can't stop thinking about you we have the fool yeah this person wants to take a leap of faith towards you okay they want to have a second chance okay because they feel like the first time around it's like they kind of like took you for granted because they maybe they didn't think that like i'm really like this person didn't think that they were going to fall for you who can't stop thinking about you Oof, this person is obsessed we have the devil again they are extremely obsessed with you yeah we have the knight of cups they feel like it's a missed opportunity because we also have the four of cups so we have the knight of cups this is somebody who's extremely romantic but the knight of cups is also an energy of like flighty it's kind of like the knight of wands but the knight of wands is more on a sexual base while the knight of cups is more on an emotional base the knight of cups you will have a good time with you okay they were going to sweep you off your feet however they may not be able to catch you because they may not be emotionally responsible enough to handle the emotions that comes with like love and commitment and all that good jazz like they may not be able to do so so the knight of cups i feel like this person like initially they wanted to keep it light sweet and everything but then they start falling for you and then i feel like by falling for you this person kind of withdrew their energy whenever you like whenever you required more of their time their energy they weren't consistent we have the four of cups yeah this person feels like it might be a missed opportunity with you they're regretting their actions towards you they're regretting not putting too much effort into you out of fear like this person is kind of like you know what i'm getting from those their vibe this person is kind of like they have an ego like they're very cocky because they get a lot of people's attention but it's like yeah you get a lot of attention but i don't mean the people that you get attention from are quality okay and you are quality my pal number two so we have the ten of pentacles this person could come from a wealthy family or they may have like a lot of money they're like i said they're financially stable there's something to do with their finances that they're doing really well and that's another reason why this person is kind of like cocky as well okay who can't stop thinking about you yeah there was an abrupt ending with the ten of swords it was a painful ending as well with the ten of swords so we have the eight of wands yeah, this person wants to communicate with you they want to come towards you with an offer with an apology yeah like the way that things ended between the two of you was like yeah like it was not it was like really it was not a really a good experience okay this is what i'm getting here so who can't stop thinking about you my pal number two who can't stop thinking about you we have occupation so yeah this person is keeping themselves busy they can work with their hands but their occupation is keeping them busy because they don't want to think about you we have official person so this person could um hold like a prestigious position like this is giving me emperor vibe so they could be like in a prestigious position they could be a manager they could be a ceo um or they could just be like uh, in a leadership position okay so who can't stop thinking about you yeah we have main male this is somebody who likes to be first. This is somebody who likes to be the only one, the best one. They're extremely competitive, especially with the King of Wands being here. This is somebody who's extremely competitive. Um, this is somebody who doesn't like to lose. They may have a huge ego as well, okay? So who can't stop thinking about you? Wow, this person's in despair. Woo! Pile number two. You got this person in their feelings. <laughs> oh my god yeah this person like you know at night 
it, it hits them at night because during the day they're busy with work they're busy with friends they're busy with tasks they're busy with you know errands that they have to run or they may go to the gym you know all the time but eventually you're gonna have to sit down somewhere and sit with your thoughts you're gonna have to sit with your emotions and then when they do that this person is like in their feelings like oh my gosh i can't believe like pal number two left me even if they have their phone blinging with other people texting them calling them getting their attention this person is still stuck on you they can't stop thinking about you it's like you're consuming this person's mind 24 7 you know who can't stop thinking about you wow we have message of concern so maybe this person is like okay i feel like this person's stalking you online let's say for instance you guys like because i don't feel like even though the tennis source is here it was a painful ending but it's like maybe this person still has access to your social media maybe they still have access like maybe they still have your phone number maybe you have whatsapp maybe you have like you know some sort of platform where they could spy on you in secret and they're the message of concern that i'm getting here is like maybe this person seeing that you're doing good or you're you're doing your own thing you're here having fun you don't seem like you're hurt by the this person's absence and it's kind of like concerning them okay who can't stop thinking about you my pal number two who can't stop thinking about you just one card please okay thank you wow this person i'm telling their concern their concern oh you see how this man is looking on the <laughs> this man. he looks stressed <laughs> this person's stressed they want to message you okay you may receive some sort of text message from this person very soon maybe in seven days i feel like this month for sure or whenever you hear this message okay because this is timeless seven days from the time you leave you hear this message or it could be like seven weeks but i don't feel like seven weeks honestly i feel like seven days okay like very soon like this person's not gonna wait that long because like they're they're concerned <laughs> they're not gonna wait that long so who can stop thinking about you we have toil and labor yeah this person's like working really hard extra time overtime at work so that way they could like keep their mind occupied we have change here maybe this person's gonna like yeah i feel like they're gonna change their ways or change their approach towards you how they come towards you how they address you how they move around you because i feel like that could have been like the reason why you kind of pulled away from this person because of the way that they were behaving like they were not consistent um they were not showing you the love and affection that you felt like you deserved so you're like okay well i'm gonna pull away and maybe like you know this person was like okay well bye and then now they feel like oh my gosh i shouldn't have done that i should have fought for pile number two i should have showed them that i really cared for them and they're kind of like regretting that with this spare card okay because maybe they thought that you were gonna run back like most people do because i feel like this is what they're used to people running back to them if they walk away and then it's like you're not you're still walking away and it's like to them it's like they're kind of panicking like whoa pile number two is actually leaving yeah what did you think this was <laughs> oh my god so we're going to be using the astro dice to get a little bit more confirmation of who this person could be so it could be your sign or this person's sign okay so who can't stop thinking about you we have libra third house and we have pluto so this person could have Pluto, uh, Libra in Pluto or Libra in third house, or that could be you. All right. So that's all I have for you, my pal number two. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in my next video, pal number two. Bye. Hi, Pal3. Welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. So, my pal number three, you pick the third eye chakra crystal, and this is going to be your reading, okay? So, if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy of previous pile or previous readings, okay? So my pile number three, who can't stop thinking about you? 
who can't stop thinking about you my pile number three so what do we have here for you pile number three we have justice so this person could be libra okay or you could be the libra here um this is somebody who could be they could be in a legal system or something like that a lawyer um they could be a lawyer they could be a judge or they could be a police officer a detective this could be somebody investigating you or looking into you or somebody who's they could be spying on you i don't know why i'm getting that this person uh yeah i feel like they're spying on you who can't stop thinking about you we have the seven of seven of wands i was gonna say seven of swords so seven of swords might come out maybe this person you block them we have the devil they could be obsessed with you capricorn energy or they could have some sort of addiction or something like that or repetitive patterns but you may have blocked this person i feel like you may not really like this person much who can stop thinking about you this person could be in the spotlight we have the hair fonts yeah this person could be an illegal oh i feel like this person is kind of like using their power because we have justice and we have the hair font these are two powerful energies okay justice is like you know a lawyer and the hair font is also a lawyer it could also be a lobbyist somebody who who um enforces the law you know also a church um a religious leader something like that so these two together is like a powerful energy and with the devil here this is toxicity power control so this could be somebody using their their position to control others and you may have blocked this person this could be so also somebody who could be like you know a religious leader that maybe you stood up to okay or they don't like the fact that maybe this person doesn't like the fact that you are spiritual and your spirituality threatens this person maybe because you challenge their views on religion and spirituality maybe you just challenge challenge their views to all together and this person could be possessive or controlling with the devil okay yeah we have the four of pentacles this could, person could be rigid in the way that they think the way that they see the world they could be extremely i feel like this person is extremely judgmental like they judge like it is not even about being religious or anything like that i feel like this person just is judgmental they have a judgmental personality like whatever they don't understand is like of the devil is of like you know satan that's the type of energy this person has and we have the devil here because this person is not in touch with their shadow self so they project okay this is what i'm getting here so who can't stop thinking about you we have the page of cups no sorry the page of wands this person could be um very they're intrigued by you though my pal number three this is somebody that like this is somebody of authority okay that is obsessively thinking about you with the devil they are like obsessively thinking about you because like you challenge their views this person like let's say if you are a tarot reader my pal number three because i feel like some of you are this person watches you they stalk you online i promise you <laughs> like they watch your tarot readings okay oh my gosh i'm just also getting this person gives sermons based on your reading so whatever you uh say in your reading so let's say if it's like you do collective readings where it's not pick a cards but just collective readings they take your collective readings and then like change the words here and there and make it like more religious based and then they utilize that to preach to their the congregation or something like that this is what i'm getting here with this person but like yeah like this yeah five of cups they have a lot of regret because they feel like you are extremely knowledgeable in like how you like certain topics that you brought to this person made them think about their views and their ways of seeing the world and it like i said you kind of challenge this person with the five of cups they kind of like in regret for like yeah we have the queen of swords this person's in regret for like the way that they handle the situation i feel like they let their you know how some some people like let's say if you don't believe in their religion they they get super angry or if even if you just question one thing 
they don't respond with love they respond with anger like as if like you offended god because you question something in the bible or the quran or whatever it is okay and please if you are religious i am not trying to say that religion people religious people are like that i'm just saying this person is like that because let's say if somebody questions me about spirituality or tarot I'm not going to respond with anger because if they're genuinely curious or they're questioning something or they're, they have like, you know, some sort of like pre notion about something, I will try to educate them. But if I'm getting mad, like, why am I getting mad at somebody's views? Like they're allowed to have their views. And that's the thing with this person. You have your views about maybe Christianity or Islam, or whatever it is that this person, like whatever religion this person has, maybe you questioned them, but you were not questioning them in a way where you're trying to like put down their religion or talk down on them. It was not even about that. It was more like, you know, trying to see like if they understand your point of view or trying to enlighten them about a certain topics or trying to show that religion and spirituality has like a lot of similarities. Okay. It's just like, different paths but very similar okay maybe that's what you were trying to show this person but because with the queen of swords this person could be very stern or stoic or like you know like kind of like i feel like they're rigid in the way that they think with the four pentacles okay so who can't stop thinking about you yeah we have the emperor i'm telling you i knew it i sensed it that this is somebody who's in a prestigious position or a powerful position they don't have to be a religious leader because we have the hierophant like i said the hierophant is a religious leader but we have the emperor this is also a leader so it could be it doesn't have to be religion but i'm getting like strongly religion for some of you it could be just like you know um let's say if, <clears throat> let's say for instance you see they don't want me to talk let's say for instance you are a coach okay a relationship coach and this person could be a relationship coach but they could be in a different field or different like maybe they do something totally different from you or the way that they coach is different from you and maybe you question them on their practice or like why did they do it like that not in like in a accusing tone or anything like that this person is like very like sensitive or something like they can't handle criticism so yeah we have justice here this person feels like they can never do no wrong so because of that mindset they're not open to criticism they're not open to constructive because i feel like your criticism was constructive and this person saw it as like an attack to their ego or something with the justice card or like or they could even be a lawyer or it could be like anything but i feel like it's like a prestigious position with all these cards here and this person does not like to be questioned okay and they kind of feel foolish for like like dealing with you like that because they, they now they're seeing like the more and more they stalk you the more and more they see that you're extremely knowledgeable okay and that they could have learned a lot from you yeah we have the two of swords they're going through some sort of tower moment even though the tower is not here but i'm getting like with the two of swords this person's indecisive it's like you have them questioning not questioning their faith because i'm not getting that this person's going to try to change religion or anything like that or change to spirituality but they're questioning the way that they see the world like how they're so judgmental like they don't have to be judgmental like you know you could still like do certain things you can learn from other people without having to judge just because it's different from yours and this is what this person is kind of like learning from you yeah three of pentacles like this is somebody that you wanted that maybe they wanted to collaborate with you or you wanted to collaborate with them or you guys were collaborating with each other but you were not seeing eye to eye maybe you had to block this person or cut them off or release yourself from them because they were toxic yeah five of swords maybe you guys got into an argument Okay, so who can't stop thinking about you we have the Sun yeah eight of swords I'm telling you this person is having a lot of anxiety we have the Sun here this person could be very prideful as well like I said they don't they may not even like to say sorry they could be arrogant too yeah guys I can't make it up judgment I'm telling you this person's judgmental I'm telling you yeah they are burdened now by the fact that the like now they're seeing the errors of their ways however this person's never going to say oh i'm sorry like you were right like the way like how you explain certain things like your fresh perspective your ideas the way that you articulated was different and like they kind of felt threatened by your power because this person likes to be the only one or the best one or like they want everybody to look at them or learn from them okay and then you come in with your knowledge your expertise and your your wisdom 
okay and this person's feeling threatened by your position who can't stop thinking about you six of pentacles yeah maybe now they want to come back in and equally give to you who can't stop thinking about you yeah page of cups they want to apologize to you didn't i say this person's having a tower moment didn't i say before the tower came out because i sensed it we have the page of cups yeah they want to apologize to you because i even said the page of cups with the page of wands that's not what i wanted to say but i felt like this person wants to apologize to you they can't stop thinking about like the knowledge that you bring and then they watch you online okay they're a secret they follow you secretly yeah they want to rekindle with the three of cups they want to make amends with you and they can't stop thinking about you because of like how i feel like it's because of how knowledgeable you are and it's like you know whatever you told this person they took it and they went in this their research on it and then the more they're doing the research the more they're learning and the more they're seeing that you were right about certain things that you were you know yeah we have distant horizon this person's gonna come towards you very soon with an apology who can't stop thinking about you we have expectation yeah you were i feel like you were not what this person was expecting like i'm telling you this person is like snobby or cocky okay who can't stop thinking about you we have message of concern yeah they're concerned with the the knowledge that you possess and they kind of threatened by the knowledge that you possess because maybe you could be very young like younger than this person and they're like yeah you see how many cars are coming out this person is like just overwhelmed by the information the experience the expertise that you possess and they feel like you know you might take their place or something like this person has some sort of insecurities who can't stop thinking about you yeah official person guys i can't make it up this is somebody who is in the prestigious position okay we have emperor here so yeah main male yeah this is like masculine energy regardless if it's like a woman or a man this is somebody who operates in their masculine energy and you see how it says main male like they want to be the main person the only person the one that everybody listens to the one with all the knowledge but you cannot possess all the knowledge in the world that's impossible there's nobody in this world that knows everything like there's no way okay there's so many information there's so many wealth of knowledge that there, we have to live like trillion trillions of lifetime to know like you know and this person is just like they want to be that person they want to be that guy they want to be that girl but it's not feasible okay so who can't stop thinking about you okay we have a card we have child yeah maybe this person views you as like you may be younger than this person i feel like you are that's why we have child here and it's like they were like nah like i'm not like i feel like this person's like i'm not gonna learn from you like you're younger than me age does not mean like wisdom or knowledge or you know you have to you could be 55 and still have the mind of a 16 year old or you know and then you could be 60 and have the mind of a 55 year old okay it's not really about the age it's about the experience it's about like you know even if you have experience Let's say if you're always experiencing the same thing and you're not learning, it doesn't mean anything, okay? Because you're not learning. So it's really about like experience with knowledge and you know acquiring the knowledge and applying the knowledge and learning from that and gaining the wisdom from it. So this person has an issue with that, okay? They feel like their age is like good enough for them to be qualified for a certain position we have gift that's the second time it comes out i put it back in the deck so this person wants to come in with a gift or yeah they feel like you're gifted as well okay there's two cards that fell out we have courtship Ooh, and we have main female so you guys could be of opposite sex or same sex but this person is attracted to you we have courtship okay judication I'm telling you that's what I was getting like at first lawyer we have uh, justice twice that's what I was getting lawyer or they could be like you know like I said either like a lawyer or a religious leader but whatever field that they're in they feel like they're the best or like their way is the best way and no other way and nobody could tell them ish okay like very like dictator type of energy with the emperor but like you're showing this person that 
there's other ways to do things it's not you don't have to be rigid it's not it doesn't have to be black or white okay this person could be black or white type of energy either it's good or it's bad and sometimes it's not really about good and bad like there's different there's shades in between okay so it's not like about bending the rules we're not talking about bending no rules none of that stuff it's like certain things okay like this is like just the same thing with yin and yang even in the yin there is yang and then in the yang there is yin do you understand so it's like i hope you have makes sense guys so i feel like this person has a hard time grasping this concept Okay, so we're going to be using the astro dice to get a little bit more confirmation of who this person could be. So it could be your sign or this person's sign. So we have Taurus, fourth house, and we have Taurus here. So here are fonts, so it makes sense. Um, and we also have South Node. So they could have Taurus in South Node or Taurus in fourth house, or that could be you. Okay. So that's all I have for you, my pal number three. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in my next video, pal number three. Bye.